Hello everyone, welcome to Dalbat cooking tutorial. Today we are preparing uh, dal, bat, meat curry, potato curry and pickle. And our chef is Krishna Gurungbaini. Hi, Namaste. So we are going to start with dal. And you can see uh, the pressure cooker is already there. And uh, here we have another pot. Here we are gonna cook meat. And these are the ingredients that we have. And so let's start. Uh, first of all, make sure that the uh, cooker pressure is hot enough then you can pour three tablespoon of oil yeah. and now uh, for meat curry uh, also three tablespoon of oil four And now let's wait for the oil to get hot. And that is garlic. That's turmeric powder. Salt. So after putting the garlic, you have to stir it. And here is dal. Now you have to put the dal and and pour some water as well. Now uh, a pinch of turmeric, maybe more than a pinch. And one spoon of one, two spoon of salt. Now cover it with the lid. And put the flame on medium. Now let's get started on meat. Wow. 
what is that that's fenugreek fenugreek like half tablespoon of fenugreek and some bay leaf dry bay leaf and now meat Now as it cooks, let's cover it with a lid. Now let's open the lid. And stir the meat. I put the lead back again. Now let's check on the meat. That's whistle number one. That's whistle number two and once the cooker blows whistle for the third time then our dal is cooked. Thank you. 
crucial number 3 now we are gonna put some turmeric on me a spoon and a half turmeric our dal is cooked okay so our dal is ready now put the flame on uh, low And now put one full spoon of salt. And stir it well. You can already see the color. Put the lid back on and put it on low flame. Now we are going to add the masala paste that Krishna made earlier. the masala paste is added you have to stir it well as well and turn the flame from low to medium now it's turn for the some slices of tomatoes add them gently And on top of that, you can add onions just for your test. and put the lid back again and let it cook now as the meat is stirring uh, i want to let i want to let you know that we are going to start with rice and for rice since we are cooking for four people at the moment uh, uh, the water is uh, more than 500 ml so for two cups of rice you can add 500 ml and here uh, you can add little water on meat as well if you want it to be gravy if you want the gravy and put it on medium flame 
the stock and put the lead on low flame medium okay and here is our dal so our chicken is almost cooked now uh, and before we turn off the stove we are going to put uh some coriander leaves coriander is going to enhance the taste of our chicken So there you go. The chicken is ready. So we are done with dal, we are done with chicken, and we are almost done with rice as well. And next is potato curry. Once the pan is hot, let's pour three tablespoon of oil. Now let's wait for the oil to get hot as well. Let's put some fenugreek. And onions. You should stir the onion until it until it turns brown. Now it's time for the main thing and that is potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
and now it's time to turmeric powder There you go, whistle number one. Now keep stirring it and whistle number two. Cover it with a plate. Now one more whistle and we will have rice. It's taking a little longer because it's on medium flame. And now it is on the With that sound, I hereby announce that our bath is ready. We are gonna boil three uh, medium sized tomatoes. Uh, you can put the flame on medium. Uh, you should add one tablespoon of salt yeah. and a little bit of water And put the plate back on and put the flame on low okay so the tomatoes are boiled now they are ready to be turned into pickle so here we have this cute little thing <laughs> now add one tablespoon of salt and one chili two chili three chili and grind it few pinches of coriander leaves and continue grinding uh -huh. 
potato curry. It looks good. Now you can add the paste of masala and keep mixing it. Now it's time for the slices of tomatoes. Now let's move on to the pickle side. One by one you can add the tomatoes and keep grinding it. We can you can add all the tomatoes at once but we are doing it one by one because our this grinding thingy is quite small So now our pickle is ready, as you can see.